You make this sound really simple. Let me show you why it's not. Do you believe that 300 calories of processed sugar, fat, and oil are truly equal to 300 calories of lean protein or vegetables? I'm going to show you why these calories are not equal to these calories and nothing I'm going to say here violates the first law of thermodynamics, which is calorie intake minus calorie expenditure equals calories stored, right? Let's say we track all the calories that we eat in a day. It's a total pain in the butt, but let's just say we do it. First off, we have a bunch of inaccuracies because no two eggs or two apples are alike. And the calories on the label on packaged foods and restaurant foods are typically off by as much as 20%. So not only is this psychologically draining, it's also very, very hard to do with accuracy. Now we've got the other half of the equation, the calories burned. Tracking the number of calories our body burns in a day is even harder. Our metabolism is complicated. The single biggest component is our BMR or our resting energy expenditure. And this can go up or down by as much as 50% depending on our diet, depending on our breathing and a number of other factors. So this part of the equation is already getting kind of fuzzy. Let's spend some more time on this one. This is a scientist named Dave Ludwig. He and several other scientists have figured out something called the carbohydrate insulin model of obesity. This research confirms something that should be obvious. These calories are actually very different than these calories. That's because the type of calories we consume affect the number of calories our bodies burn. Protein helps us build muscles. And the more muscle we have, the stronger our resting energy expenditure is. Because of the refined carbohydrates in the donut, when we eat the donut, we get a blood sugar and insulin spike. That's the red line. Whereas when we eat calories that come from protein and fat, we don't get the same blood sugar and insulin spike. I love donuts as much as anybody, but to say that this donut has the same net effect on our body that this chicken breast does is absolutely crazy. Number one, protein is much more satiating than carbohydrates. Eating this will make us less likely to overconsume calories than eating this will. This will also spike insulin, which among other things will make us feel more hungry. When insulin levels are low, our body can get the calories that it needs from both food and stored fat. Whereas when insulin levels are high, it sends a message to the body to be storing calories and the body cannot get calories from fat because insulin inhibits lipolysis. Instead of focusing on eliminating carbs or doing extreme exercise or calorie counting, focus on controlling glucose and insulin levels. Prioritize protein, healthy fat, and fiber. Do that. And then we can all enjoy donuts from time to time without paying a heavy price for it.